drop zone, a designated area into which troops or supplies are dropped by parachutes or in which skydivers land. This is such a very simple definition of what drop zone is, but in the universe of Grand Theft Auto, there's always going to be a twist on such simple terms, if you catch my drift. Anyways, my name is BuzzBearLock30, and in today's video, we're going to go over the newest adversary mode that's dropped within the Grand Theft Auto Online universe, Drop Zone. And in this team mode, which is played up to 1-4 to four teams, your sole objective is to crush your opponent, dominate them if you will, and capture the zone that's located within the middle of the map. For those of you who have played the Grand Theft Auto 4 multiplayer mode, Turf War, you'll see that there are many similarities. Within this game mode, I want to teach you the basic tips and tricks that go along within this video. So to start off with, we have your team gauge. You need to fill up this gauge as quickly as possible. If not, you and your teammates will enter what is known as sudden death, and that's the last thing you want. But before going into battle, there's a couple of things you need to know. First off, you can't head in there like you know, you're a one-man army, so to speak, because even if you get a kill, regardless, you're still going to get obliterated by your opponent, and that's the last thing you need for your team. Then there are times when you're going to make simple stupid mistakes, such as I did, and give your opponents an advantage to take over you, you know, kill you in the process. So to start off, you need to know what you're heading into battle with. To start off, you have a super heavy body armor, and the weapons are shown within the text. You can use these weapons in a matter of ways in order to get an advantage over your opponent. And to also, to give you a little note, the bulletproof helmet that you have is just for show. It's not going to protect you in any way. You need to know about the other weapons that are located within this game mode, such as shown in the text below. And this is a simple screenshot of a map that I have took of. These weapons will have you, help you give you an edge over your opponent. Now. There's two positions you can play as, Team Catcher or Team Defender, as I like to put it. As a Team Catcher, you just go straight to the zone, you kill anyone that gets in your way, and you make sure to capture the zone as quickly as possible. As the Team Defender, you grab any weapon you see fit, and you take no second opinion of it. You just go down there, obliterate your opponent, defend your teammates as they're capturing the drop zone. It's going to be tough in the long run, but it's also going to help you out. You need to make sure that you defend your teammates as much as possible, such as, for example, getting rid of any snipers that you see within the vicinity, because trust me, they will get in the way and they will definitely wreck your teammates if you don't step in. But there are times when you're going to be overwhelmed, because trust and believe, shown in the clips of world, it's going to be like Fort Knox when you try to enter a drop zone when there's already a team down there. They will do whatever they can to stop you. They will do whatever they can to, you know, halt your movements. Don't be like me and make simple stupid mistakes like this. Or do stupid shit like that. You know, because that makes you a moron in the process. That's one thing you can't have. Mm-mm. No siree. One thing you want to do if it's like Fort Knox is that you want to sneak in. Take advantage of your opponent. Flank them if you have to. If you see that your opponent is having a hard time with your teammate, you take the opportunity and go behind them and just shoot them up the ass. Because they'll never know what's going to happen. They'll never expect it. And if they do, you got to take advantage of it quick. Otherwise, you're going to end up dead on the battlefield. This is a war zone, people. And they're not going to think twice about giving you a helping hand. They're your enemy. They will do whatever it is they have to in order to eliminate you inexperienced or experienced players both. One other thing you can do is snipe. Now being the elite sniper that I am, which is basically not true, you have to defend your opponents. You gotta have a good eye. You have to have good accuracy. You can't be missing shots like me and expect to like have a miracle happen. Because that's not what that is not what's gonna happen to the language. Now the thing is though when you're a sniper you have to have exact accuracy. There are given times when you're not always going to make a shot count, but there are times when you know you have to make a count. In other words, that you just got to be on, you just got to do good. Because if not, there are times when your opponent's going to notice you. But if you have a keen eye and good ears, you'll know when your enemy is going to make a drop in you. For example, this guy is going to try to kill me or knock me off the roof. And I say, screw that. You're going to end up getting shot up like a bitch because you're attacking me in some way while trying to protect my team. Now just so you know, even if you do snipe, there are going to be times when people read the messages at the bottom left hand corner and know that you're sniping. 
you gotta be careful because if not, you're gonna end up like me, dead. And if that tends to happen, there are gonna be times when you enter sniping battles. Don't let this preoccupy you because if so, then the other team is going to take advantage of this and capture the zone while you're on a 1v1 quick scope battle with someone, and that's something you don't want to have. In the end of the day, drop zone is a team mode. You need, to, you need to have collaboration and coordination with your teammates in order to get to the objective quick and fast. Because if not, your team's going to lose and you guys are going to end up in, like, purgatory, basically. Because you don't know what the hell is going on. You need to make sure you have your teammates back. We need to make sure that everything you do is coordinated and right. But in the end of the day, you just gotta have fun with it because who knows? You may win, you may not win. And also, don't act like a smart ass or you know, you know, provoke your enemies because they will take advantage of that moment. Anyways, I hope this sort of helps you out. This is Buzzrock30 dropping the mic. Peace.